Hi everyone, this is Matthew Ma with Allegra LED Lighting. We are very excited today to announce our new vapor type fixtures. The elegant vapor type. A star, elegant star with an A to differentiate. Uh, these fixtures put out 120 lumens per watt at 49 uh, watt. Very bright as you can see. 120 lumens per watt with clear lens. Uh, with frosted lens. I produce 100 lumens per watt. It's IP for uh, 65 rated for wet location. So let's go ahead and do a test on this uh, vapor proof. Ready? Okay. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see it's a, it's a vapor proof. Hold on, just a sec. Oh man, can I name three names now? I'll call on Phillips, Cree, and Sylvania to do the same. Okay, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, back to our uh, vapor type. Uh, it's IP65 rated, as you can see, it's still working. Um, there's no water inside. And then, uh, let me cover this first. Uh, try that a bit. Okay, so I don't get electrocuted. Uh, one unique feature about this one is it has a 160, sorry, 180 degree, as you can see, 180 degree beam angle. I'll show you in a second why you can achieve 180 degree beam angle. Uh, so I will open it up. As you can see, we have stainless metal clip. Actually, on the clip, there's a screw hole for temper proof screw. So over here, uh, you can see it comes with a uh, temper-proof screw in case you want to protect the lens from being removed uh, by our audience, which you don't want to. And then let me open it up and show you why you can achieve this 180 degree beam angle. We still have eyes here. Okay. All right. Okay, on the side. Turn it off. We have a ray space. You can see three rows of LEDs, a ray space. So, with this ray space, you widen the beam angle, and with the covered lens, then you, we achieve 180 degree beam angle. And also on the side, you can see uh, one of the end covered with a cap so that you can uh, put in uh, the conduit through it. And on this end, it comes with this type of wiring. You can remove it if you want to. And to install, you can unscrew the four, four screws here. One, two, three, four. To take out uh, the heatsink and do the wiring behind it. So that's our standard model with on off only. There you go. Uh, it also can come with a motion sensor configuration. Two model over here. Uh, but motion sensor they configure differently. One is on off, and the other one is by level. I'll show you in a second what we mean by by level. Okay, it comes with two different color, in uh, with frosted lens. This one is four thousand Kelvin. This one is five thousand Kelvin. So let's hold off for a second, so that motion sensor will kick in, and shut it off on one, and then turn the power to low for the other. Three, two, one, low. A little bit more. Maybe I moved too much. Can I break? Let me move over here. So you won't sense me. The idea is. Uh, one type of motion sensor configuration uh, it will turn it off without motion. The other one will turn power from 100% to 33% with only the middle lens uh, lit up. It's working perfectly without shutting it off. Maybe it's the water. Okay, I'll turn it off. So, yeah, come back next time. Oh, there we go.
Okay, now you see, one is off, the other one has, this one is off, now it's on, and this one is low, now it's 100%. Okay, so you can configure with different uh, configurations, so you can have either on off or low to high, uh, ideal for uh, the stairwear application. Another unique feature on our vapor type is actually a plug and playable driver interface. The one I have here, I showed you earlier, is the basic model to come with the basic driver. See that? And if you want to upgrade it, I have one here. Let me dry it up. Okay. This is what we call the step dimming driver. I'm going to take out the basic driver. There are six screws. So you unscrew the screws. There you go. And then put in what we call the step dimming driver, three step dimming. Okay. With three step dimming, then I'm just gonna raise it up so you can see it. With the first level, first switch, only the middle row lit up. That's low. Flip again. That's median. Two rows on the side. And flip it. Yep, one more time. 100%. All with the flipping of the wall switch without additional control signal that you have to wire and so forth. So, and the way we design it is very easy. I'm sure again how you retrofit on screw the screws and pop out the driver right here. And put in the one that you want to put it in. Whether it's a new one, upgraded one, that dimming. Down the road, we can come out with uh, what we call Wi-Fi enabled smart driver. Then you can control it with remote drive uh, your white uh, smartphone. That is, uh, we make it so easy so that even the salesperson can do it. Easy enough. Good. Uh, the vapor tie come in any size that you want, but as long as it's four foot. Uh, if you have any questions, stop by our website and download the Kashi. And till next time, see you. Bye.